Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Bar and Build. I hope you enjoyed that time. I had a fun time doing it. Just wanted to do something a little bit different than that Gigantor portal. That's what we're going to be doing today. Um, but as you saw, what we've done so far is making some plans. And these are not final and this is not like... This is definitely not what it's going to be in the end result. Um, I just wanted to get kind of an idea. Let's see. Let's get up here. As you also, do any of you who use shaders have this weird effect going on with them? Because uh, like, as you can see, there's some weirdness happening. And the sky, for some reason, my custom sky causes a problem. And I don't know if that's the shaders or if that's Optifine or what. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, but as you can see, I have laid out some things. So we have the road that kind of goes here and I decided, you know, let's make it so that the road kind of connects up here and splits off in two directions. So we're going to have a road that goes this way. And I'm thinking there may be like some form of gate or something that's right there to kind of like wall off the area. And there's going to be like, yeah, a wall here and then a wall here. We may shear these cliffs so you can't actually get on top. So they act as like natural walls. Um, and then there's maybe some. So we've got some buildings marked out here. This one is going to be the iron block indicates kind of like a blacksmith. This could be some form of blacksmith as well. This is kind of the idea is I'm going to have like a connector piece on the second floor to where you walk through and this circle is going to be like a forge similar. I'm thinking something along the lines of like the sky forge from Skyrim. Um, and so this is in line with that little gap right there. So essentially the blacksmith would work back here and would have a whole setup back here. Um, and this guy, I'm not, I don't know what this would be. This is probably going to be both. Um, and that maybe, maybe what we do is this is like armor and this is weapons and then the blacksmith is here so it's like two shop owners and then the blacksmith actually works back here maybe that's his little house right here don't know but as you can see there's a road that goes this way and then these are just going to be houses i think this is just going to be kind of a house section this little loop right here make for interesting houses um, kind of townhome style where they're connected on the side so you don't really have to deal too much with the like side designs um, just kind of front and back, and I think that would be good. Um, and then this is going to stretch there. Houses are going to be all along back here. And then some houses, or what I was thinking over there, could be maybe a guild of some sort. I'm not sure. Some sort of maybe guild that's like an adventurer's guild or a uh, fighter's guild is like what's in uh, Oblivion. Um, Elder Scrolls Oblivion and I think that could be kind of cool and it would tie well with this in that like or mercenaries guild maybe we do a mercenaries guild that mercenaries are hired here to protect the ships that go into the nether I think that could be kind of cool I really yeah I like that idea so that area is going to be the mercenaries guild area and I think that actually that sounds like fun I kind of want to build that um, and then obviously we've got the melon farm here uh, no real true explanation. Maybe we, the sort of lore behind that is that the old, the, it used to be like an existing structure of this like small arena or so of sorts, and they've repurposed it. Uh, maybe this used to have, we'll build maybe some small ruins and stuff around here. And that's what kind of also drew them to this area is it was already being utilized um, previously. And then the, whoever used to live here went extinct or what have, what have you. I think that would be kind of cool as well. Um, and then mm, I'm not really sure. I think this house is going to be kind of on its own. And we are, I want, I want to expand onto that island. Uh, it's going to be more uh, like sparse over there. I think we'll try and keep it feeling foresty um, and have intermittent houses that are like this, but smaller um, kind of dotted around here. And this will be like farmland and stuff. I also, I have been watching Vigo Man. If you haven't seen Vigo Man, definitely definitely check him out if you like steampunk he is also doing steampunk builds on the legacy smp which is a really cool server um and they are he well he's doing 
steampunk, like traditional, traditional type of steampunk with like all the wheels and stuff. And we're going to be getting into that here, I think. I think I would like to experiment with that here in our own style of steampunk. Um, but definitely check him out. But he's been such a source of inspiration for like this idea on this island in particular and over in the steampunk city that is over way over there. Um, so that is kind of what I've been doing off camera, just doing some planning and stuff. This is very rough and I do want, I think, to uh, bring the land up as well in this back area and kind of like make it more on a hill. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, and that also could be helpful for over there instead of having a gate, maybe we bring these cliffs down to a pretty standard level and make it so that's actually like the wall is the cliff itself and there's houses that could be on top. I think that could be kind of neat. Um, and then we could utilize this back area as well. I'm not really sure. So uh, if you have any plant, any ideas as well for builds, let me know. I would love to incorporate some of your thoughts and ideas into this place. Um, but that's all I've got right now. I guess this area is going to be an observatory as well, sort of like an astral type of thing. And I thought that could be kind of cool just because it's here on the cliffs. Obviously, we'll have to bring the cliffs up to meet it here. But I think overall, I think the idea is really cool. There are a couple things over there that are interesting. As you can see right there is a bee nest. And we actually haven't done anything with bees at all, which is actually kind of surprising. So maybe one of these areas is going to be a bee place as well. Maybe over there we have like a farm, like a bee farm or something like that. That could be kind of cool. But today what we're doing is we are going to work on this and get it the framing and hopefully get some of the design work done. Um, and I think it's going to be really cool. I think you guys are going to like, whoa, dolphin. I think you're going to really like what this is going to turn out to be. So we're going to do that in a time lapse form because yeah, it's going to be the main issue is it's going to be a lot of I need to take a lot of screenshots because I've already built it. Uh, I need to take a lot of screenshots and I need to. Yeah, I just need to prep. I've already prepped some stuff down here and it's pretty straightforward and I think we have enough melons uh, could be wrong. Oh, hi, hi, zombie. Didn't realize you were there. I could be wrong. Um, but I think we have enough melons. Let's just, before we get started, just jump in and see how many melons we have. Let's see, where are the melons? <coughs> there they are. So we have a pretty decent amount. I think I'm going to wait, uh, and get like this entire row of melons all stacked up. I don't think we're going to need nearly that many, but essentially we need to go from the bottom all the way to the top with melons as a design feature. And so that's just a good amount of melons. I think we have enough as as is, but better to over prepare than under prepare. Uh, and so let's uh, I'll go check my melons now, um, but I think that's where we're going to do. So let's go ahead, get a little bit of music playing and jump into a time lapse.
away. Thank you. All right, guys. So I have been doing tons of work, as you can see. And if you hear the rain in the background, I am sorry, but it's raining. <laughs> um, this is just just want to give you a quick glimpse at what I've been doing in the time lapse. As you can see, obviously from the time lapse, been building this up. And this is the framing of it. Let's see, can we get it all in frame there? Yes, there we are. So as you can see, much different looking portal now that it has a frame. Uh, and you know, I originally said I was gonna be using melons and uh, that's actually not gonna be the case anymore. So that melon farm is uh, worthless. <laughs> There's no purpose in it. Um, I was gonna, I had melons in the original design going up this area here. Um, but I decided because this is the steampunk city, uh, like a shoot off of it, I guess. Um, this is a part of the steampunk style that it needs to incorporate. And because it's the nether, um, it needs to incorporate steam and heat of some type. Um, and so I figured, you know what? This is the nether. This is all about like lava and heat and, and things like that. So I swapped this the melon design out for magma, and I think it looks so good. I also put some falling lava and magma down uh, the center there of each of these sides. And I also have learned that when I go through this portal, when I pop back out, it pops me out like right there, which is a little dangerous. So may have to fiddle faddle around with that um, or just act never actually go into the portal via this area here. Now, I do have a lot more planned for this. I've actually made a creative world uh, of this world, like a copy of this world uh, to plan things out in creative. And reason for that is because the plans I have are huge. And I mean, when I tell you huge guys, I mean freaking huge. They are massive. I have spent the majority of today actually doing that as opposed to building in this world because I'm having a blast, honestly, planning this area out. You guys are going to love what this turns out to be. There is so much going on on this particular spot here. Uh, so just to give you kind of an idea of what I'm thinking is there's going to be some form. I'm going to try and figure out a way to make these connectors make sense. Um, because right now it doesn't make sense as to why they're there. It's supposed to be like one big portal. My my hope, I pray that Mojang makes it so that crying obsidian can be used a part of like as a part of a portal. I doubt that they're going to do that. But if they do, that'll make this look so much better because this one and this one I would make into having the crying obsidian. So then it blends pretty well with the portal effect so that you don't get as much of an obsidian line right there. It would make it just feel like a little bit bigger of a portal, I think. Up there, there's gonna be a connection point that is made like up in this area, and then it's gonna go down and go across here. Um, and there's gonna be here as well. And it's gonna essentially be like an electric circuit that you see being pulsating, like that's pulsating. Um, on this area, it's going, there's going to be like a, a, oh, what's it called? I saw Vigo Man is building in the steampunk style as well on the legacy server. And he made a water wheel. So I, I love that design of water wheel. And so I've, I incorporated something similar that where there's going to be a water wheel pushing down or like dropping water, spinning gears that will go travel upwards to spin this a thing up here that'll send an electric pulse across and will power this. And essentially that's supposed to be what makes these power. These are supposed to be like hot coils or something like that. Um, and then there's also going to be a gargantuan, uh, like cog type of water wheel thing on this side as well. And then, uh, uh let's see here. Uh, the uh, mountain is going to expand quite a bit. It's going to come out around this area. And let's actually get on top of this here if we can. So it's essentially the mountain's going to extend way far out. The over here is not going to extend too far. Um, it's going to be about as big as the portal in terms of width. Going to come out here, extend 
out, kind of plateau at the top here. There's going to be a big build on top as well. Not like not huge, but like almost like a power plant um, to where all of the power that is being made um, with all the different water wheels and the like the heat from the core area, like the what's it called? What type of heat is it? Geothermal energy. That's what it's called. This is going to be like a geothermal plant that also utilizes water wheels to can make like power so that it can keep this portal on because it you can imagine how much power is actually needed to make something like this work um and so oh it's just so big i have i have way too many way way too many thoughts to be able to like put them into words right now i could show you but i kind of want to keep it a secret. I, I think the next few episodes are going to be pretty, pretty cool. Um, this actually, this mountain, thankfully, we took so much stone away that like didn't use any stone. Like all of this is just repurposed from the mountain. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get into get into working a little bit on. I might try and actually do the outlines for the mountains. Um, I think that could be kind of cool um, just so you guys get an idea as to what this is going to look like when we are all done. I mean, and by all done, I mean like in multiple episodes because it's going to be quite big and it's going to extend way out here and stuff. And I think it's going to be really cool. And it'll also make it so our little nether portion that we're going to make, like I said, on the inside of the portal, it's going to look like the nether. It's going to really make it so we can have a pretty expansive looking nether. Um, and we may be able to play with like red glass to make fog and stuff. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and jump to one final time lapse. Just one more. And then we will wrap the episode up. Well, everybody, we are done. Quite a bit of planning has been done today, I would say. We have planned out at the beginning of the episode, planned out this entire area here. And it's not going to be exactly the way. I don't think I really touched on this too much, but it's not going to really be exactly how I've laid it out. I'm going to have uh, some like different heights of things. I'm thinking the the further back it goes, the higher up it goes. This area is obviously going to be changed a bit. This is going to be the newest addition that we just that we'll be talking about where it's going to be a very cliffy area here. And so it's going to influence this area as well. Um, but yeah, so this is what this I don't remember what all I've shown you, but there's this. And then this is the big daddy that we've been working on for the majority of the episode. And I really like what it's turned out to be. I think it looks so cool. And it is like, I know you've already seen it like this, but uh, just look at it. Oh, it's so cool. And I have so many plans for it that I'm just super excited for. Some things I just wanted to quickly point out 
is uh, so this line here and this line, those are intentionally put there because those are the top and bottom lines of the water wheel that will be up at that level. Uh, it's quite a big water wheel. That's like the top and then it comes out here and it comes out to like here. And so there's gonna be water that sticks out and pours here and that will be creating energy. Uh, this little stick outy bit here, I think it's going to have another water wheel that catches or maybe a tube that catches and forces it into a water, like a high speed water wheel to get even more energy out of it. Uh, and so we're gonna have some stuff here. There's gonna be pipes and stuff that go all along here. This cliff side is gonna extend out a little bit here, may actually extend out like even all the way around. The big thing or the reason why we're doing all this cliff stuff is because it looks so much more natural when this is actually like built into a cliff, obviously, because currently what we've got going on is it's just sticking up out of these two cliffs. And it doesn't really look that good, especially from down here. If we take a look over here, there we go. If we take a look here, I mean, obviously ignore all the scaffolding stuff that's going around, but it just doesn't look <laughs> that good. And I don't think I would be able to make this side look that good, honestly. So what we're gonna be doing is wrapping this all. Ooh, man, I'm getting pretty good at that. Uh, we're get... This is all gonna be cliff here. There's gonna be a big cliff up top at this level. Um, and then it's gonna be big enough that there's gonna be a power plant of some sort or some sort of building up there. Um, and then it's just going to be a whole bunch of cliffs and things that are kind of interconnected. I don't think I really want to have a, the city portion, like any of the buildings and stuff besides the very top building. I don't really want that coming up, uh, here. What I, I want to do is have like pipes and stuff kind of interconnecting. So there'll be like little cliff down areas down here, uh, even further down, there's a little bit. And I want to have like pipes that like you see at the very bottom and then you see parts of them coming up through interconnecting. So it looks like it's all cohesive and we don't have to actually build in like an, an interior portion of this, like where some like actual crazy builds could be because this is all going to be hollow and it's going to be like where the nether stuff is for the like the interdimensional look that we are going to be going for. So I think it's going to be really cool um, down at oh, is it this level? Yeah, roughly, roughly this level um, is going to be another water wheel of sorts. Uh, I have to figure that out. I think it's going to be a little bit more over here. I think it's going to be more in front of here um, and then it's going to be pouring down. There's going to be gears and cogs and stuff moving. It's going to be really cool. I have tons and tons of ideas don't know what's going to go down here besides this like observatory, which may get moved. I may push it back to over there or over at that mountain. Not really sure. Um, could it kind of just depends on how this place expands. But alas, guys, that is going to ugh, darn it. This is going to have to do it for this episode because I am out of time. I have done so much in this episode that it's actually pretty crazy. I hope you have enjoyed the time lapses. Let me know down below if you've stuck around this far. This You guys are obviously the ones that are dedicated watchers. And so your opinion matters a lot because you watch to the end. So let me know, do you like all the time lapses that we've done? I know I did what, three today? So let me know, do you like all the different time lapses because it definitely helps me get a ton done. As you can see, I mean, we built up the portal. We did a ton of building and stuff and planning, did a lot of planning out in the, in the city area as well. And so it, it really does help me to achieve more, but I don't want to put, put out content that bores you guys. So let me know down below, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And I hope that if you like the video, that you left a like in real life. This is also the perspective from down here. But anyways, guys, thanks so much and have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next episode. Oh, bye bye